don't adjust your monitor or your radio or anything that you're watching or listening to this on. Uh, we are here with a little bit of an announcement before we get into the podcast today. Okay. We, right. we, now, we recorded our podcast for this week. I was Before we uh, realized that we needed to put this together to make this announcement, so okay. you're going to see this same exact announcement on the next over the next couple of podcasts, probably. Uh, so that's how that's how we roll here. I'm as confused as you are. <laughs> no, <laughs> we are so excited yep. because we're going to do something this week that we've never done before. Never, have we? No, we have never done this before, and that is this coming Thursday evening. That's going to be Thursday, April 27th. Mm -hmm. We are going to do a live YouTube event. See, when you use the word event, it makes it sound much fancier than... You're an event planner. That's right. Okay. So this Thursday, uh, again, April 27th, starting at 6.30, mm -hmm. we're going to uh, broadcast live over YouTube, through YouTube, um, our, a beginning of our discussion on the hit Netflix original mm -hmm. program, mm -hmm. Thirteen Reasons Why. Mm -hmm. Thirteen Reasons Why is a is a wild hit. Right. It is it is a massively popular program, mm -hmm. and um, there, there's lots of people talking about it. There's right. lots of people, uh, lots of kids talking about it, teenagers talking about it, and lots of right. parents talking about it, and we need to talk about it. Right. Um, lots of discussion among parents, among teachers, right. uh, school administrators. Um, how to handle it. Some schools are actually showing it right. um, so that it can be the topic of right. discussion, yeah. much to the chagrin of some parents. Exactly. So there, there's a divided opinion on this topic. Right. So we want to take a good, close look at it. Right. The issue for us is that there are important issues raised Absolutely. by the book and the film. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I, watched, I read the book years ago, yeah. and, and the... Um, wow. Mm -hmm. I, I really enjoyed the book. The, right. the, the, the program is... Is also ex very compelling. There's some the things. TV, the it, Netflix, right, right, right. There's yeah. there's a little bit that's different in the yeah. program than it than in the book. But so we're going to dig into it um, from a mental health profession uh, perspective mm -hmm. in a, in a lot of depth. And so what we're going to do this coming Thursday, again April 27th at 6:30, right. we're going to start broadcasting. And this week is just the overview. We're just going to talk about it. Uh, right. so talk about some of the issues in general. Mm -hmm. Talk about some uh, things that you should think about prior to watching the film, right. the program yourself, mm -hmm. and and a little bit maybe about what to do if your kids have already watched it, right. um, and and you're um, sort of experiencing some of the the consequences, ramifications right. of them having viewed it already. That's right, because we want your children to talk to you right. about the film, and right. so that's going to be one of the one of the things that we talk about repeatedly right. is that we want your children to talk to you, not to go to other people to talk about this this, right. uh, this um, book and movie. Right. Mm -hmm. So we will be posting the schedule that we'll right. follow uh, because it's we're going to, over the next few weeks, we're going to go, uh, not right. episode by episode, but right. we're going to go tape by tape. Uh, and, and so that will make much more sense to you right. uh, on Thursday as we talk, as we do the overview. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're looking at this Thursday, uh, April 27th, to right. start with the overview. Mm -hmm. And then we'll hit tape one next week. Um, right. Now, the, the schedule is going to not be on the same day every mm -hmm. week simply because of our schedules and because we're right. trying to fit this in while it's still um, early enough to where we can hopefully you know, right. provide some information and everything. So um, the, the, the first date is this Thursday. Then the second date is going to be next Monday. Uh, that's May 1st, uh, we right. will be doing the tape one tape discussion. One. Mm -hmm. And then we'll work from there. Uh, there'll be a couple right. Thursdays, then a couple Wednesdays, and we'll just kind of be, mm -hmm. um, but we'll have it everything right. detailed, and we will, we will do our very best to stick with that specific schedule mm -hmm. as we go through all seven right. tapes. So, all right, okay. we're really excited, excited. about it. Yeah. We're gonna be, again, I'm gonna post um, flyers and, and things so that mm -hmm. it, everybody uh, can uh, hopefully tune in. If you tune in live, what's gonna be awesome is that you're gonna be able to chat with us. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna be able to watch it live. You can chat to us That's and good. we will be interacting yeah. with you, answering mm -hmm. questions right. and, and responding to things directly at the time right. that we're having the pot, recording the podcast. Mm -hmm. And then, the, that episode, that uh, recording, right. 
will be posted as a podcast and as a YouTube video mm -hmm. the subsequent Monday, us uh, Saturday, right. uh, as our weekly That's right. Saturday so if you podcast. Can't, if you can't be here right. for the live broadcast, which we would prefer because we can interact. Right. It's also right. going to be interactive. Yeah. Um, it will be on tape. Yes. So you can yes. access it. So, oh, it's going to be fantastic. It'll be fun. Yeah. Can't wait. So, um, mm -hmm. check mm -hmm. it out. Be yeah. there. If you have questions, uh, message me. Mm -hmm. You can message me on Twitter at, at Dr. Bernie, or you can message on Facebook uh, at either the Mental Breakdown Facebook page or at the our Psychological Associates of Central Florida mm -hmm. Facebook page. But mm -hmm. get in touch with us if you have any questions, yeah, or on the blog, uh, right. TheMentalBreakdown.com. Right. Um, message us, write to us, let mm -hmm. us know if you have any questions, right. and we will answer those questions and be looking forward looking to forward Thursday to night. Yep. So again, that's Thursday night, April 27th. Mm -hmm. At 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I should include that. EST. Yeah. Is it still Eastern Standard Time or Eastern Daylight Time? Daylight Savings Time. Yeah. So EDT. Eastern Daylight? Eastern. DST. Daylight Savings Time. Eastern Time. We're 6.30 in, in the East. 6.30 in Florida. Right. Or New York. All right. That's it. <laughs> so. But not Newfoundland. No. We are so looking forward to this, so we can't wait to, to see you there um, and to actually have a chance to interact with you all. So, mm -hmm. all right, until then, bye-bye. Whether you're looking for answers to specific life questions or seeking to become the best version of you possible, welcome to the Mental Breakdown and Psych Reg Podcast, where we offer insight, information, and strategies based upon research and years of practice as clinical psychologists. So sit back, have a listen, and get connected with our hosts, Dr. Bernie Wilkinson and Dr. Richard Marshall. Welcome back. Richard, on our program, we have talked about a lot of different influential psychologists and mental health contributors and developmental specialists, and right. today we're going to talk about another one. Yes, we are. We're going to talk about Dr. Paul Ekman. Paul Ekman. E-K-M-A-N. Right. And he, he, there's an article actually written by him mm -hmm. uh, in... Uh, Psychology Today, and so right. we'll include the, the link to that on the pod, uh, in mm -hmm. the show notes, but he provides three very nice mottos that he right. lives by, and, and so we thought it would be nice to share that with our listeners today. Yeah, I was as I was perusing all these different um, topics that we could talk about, I thought, mottos I live by, what, what could possibly be new here? You right. Know? And it turns out there was nothing new here. <laughs> but it was by Paul Ekman, and right. Paul Ekman has a, I, don't, I think, he may have a blog or something called Face It. Right. And the reason he titled it that, because his area of expertise is the expression of, em, face, the expression expression. of emotion in faces. Right. And uh, we'll talk about that when we, when we discuss it, when we discuss the models to live by a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But he's an expert in recognizing somebody's emotions by their facial expression. Right. Yeah, there's been a uh, there's been a few television programs that have come out looking you at micro. Know. There's one called uh, Lie to Me, uh, uh, L I E to Me. Yeah, it, and it, and they talk a lot about micro expressions and. Well, the, you know, you remember Charles Darwin. You weren't. We were. We were you best friends. Charles, you remember Charles at, on the Beagle. The, the the ship was the Beagle. Right. The Voyage of the Beagle. Um, most. Most of us remember him for his theory of evolution. Right. Okay. He theory of a, natural selection. The theory of natural selection. He wrote a second book called The Expressions of Emotions in Animals and Man. Oh. Because one of the things that he discovered as, he, as this voyage went around the world is that dis, in every culture, people smile when they're happy and they cry when they're sad. Mm -hmm. So it's not something, he said, it's not something you learn. It's not cultural. It's universal. There are these mm -hmm. universal uh, facial expressions. Mm -hmm. So he was the first right. to discuss this. Um, Paul Ekman it, it researches that area. Right. He's a researcher, so he's following Darwin's lead. So he's a pretty good mentor. Very cool. Yeah. So the first motto is... Oh, why did he have these mottos? His mother died when he was 14. His father didn't like him. Oh. He had a terrible relationship with it. I don't know why. He doesn't really explain it. But he had a difficult relationship with his father. And what he said was, my mother died when I was 14. My, he was estranged from his father. And he said he had to figure it out for himself. Mm -hmm. that, that was the whole point of, of the 
a little bit of autobiography there. Um, and he had to figure things out for himself. So he chose these three mottos for whatever Great reason. Because they worked for him. Great motto, sir. Yeah. The first but one was? Never take no for an answer. Right, right. You've heard that one before. Yeah, I mean... Like you said, nothing new. Nothing new. Uh, but, but it really is... It's really important. Right. When you're stung. It, that's it's, right. it's grit. Right. That's right. Now we call it grit. Yeah. Okay. Um, I heard a wonderful story about a young man who um, took a test the other day. Mm -hmm. And he was the only one in the class to get item number 35 correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. And because of that, and we won't go into the statistics, his grade went down a point. Right, okay. when the teacher dropped that item. She dropped the question because everybody else in the class missed it. His grade went down. Everybody else's he... went up. <laughs> right. His went down. And so this young man, he's probably around 15 or 16, mm -hmm. he's a high school student. He's going to have to go in now and, and talk to the teacher about um, how this affected his grade. And it'll be a wonderful experience, but no, you can't take no for an answer. Right. Okay. Right. So he's going to have to go in and argue his case this week. Yeah. And I thought that's a perfect example of having to argue your case. And, and you don't take no for an answer. Um, um, kids are applying for colleges right. right now. You know, they're going through that very uh, traumatic uh, selection process. And so, okay, this school says no. One mm -hmm. school says no to you. All right. That opens up other opportunities. Right. So you make the best of those opportunities. Yeah. So... Um, yes, don't take, never take no for an answer. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. So, um, now the second one is leave no stone unturned. I heard that one before. It's been around for a little while. Right. Perseverance. That's right. right. So we have grit with the first one, perseverance with the second one. Yeah. And in his case, we, we said we'll talk about the expression uh, of emotions. Um, he, it was a controversial um uh, area of research when he first started. This was years ago when mm -hmm. he first started doing this research. And and many in the profession, uh, many in personality theory, um, didn't accept his theorizing. So he packed everything up, took a year, mm -hmm. trekked into the jungles of New Guinea mm -hmm. to a, um, um, a primitive, I don't like the word primitive, but a primitive culture that had no exposure to the outside world. Right. And he studied the expressions, their facial expressions. And then he came back mm -hmm. with photographs and documentary, documented that, yes, indeed, um, even without being exposed to any other culture, this is how yeah. people express their emotions. Wow. So it took, you know, do what you need to do. Right. Okay? Leave no stone Leave, unturned. Right, right. Keep at, you had to do that this weekend, didn't Keep you? Keep at it. Oh. Perseverance. We'll Speaking of perseverance, right? We'll talk about that. You have to keep working at it. I yeah. mean, you have to keep working at it. You cannot yeah. stop. You must right. keep working. If you if you really care about it, you got to keep going. Right. You got to keep going. So mm -hmm. now the last motto that he offers right. is aim higher than you can see. I like this one. I had not heard this before. No. Had you? Uh, well, it's like to me, it's it's the same as reach for the stars. Reach and, for the stars. You know, yeah. mm -hmm. reach for the stars, and even if you don't make it, at least you'll get to the moon. That's right. That's right. You know? And his sister said to him, you know, why do you have these aspirations? Why do you have these goals? And he said, because I have to. Right. I have to I have to reach for these things. And I and that's another important thing to remember. Whether you're a student or a parent or taking care of say you're a caregiver, um, no matter what you're doing, um, reach a little higher than you can see. I think that um, what it makes me think of is, you know, there's there's many of us who you, you, you just sort of know that you're supposed to do something. You, maybe even you're not really sure right. what it is, but mm -hmm. you know that you're supposed to do something, that you're supposed to be involved in something, that you're supposed to be doing something. Um, use that drive. Right. You know, um, mm -hmm. keep going. And, and, and just, if you, even if you, if you feel like you should be working in a particular field, but you don't have mm -hmm. the training to work in that field, Use that um, that motivation, that drive, right. that that energy, mm -hmm. and either get training or figure out a way. I, it mm -hmm. makes me think of um, it, my mom was a was a tremendous role model for me for for a number of reasons. And one of the things that she always did was, and, and you know, even when as I mentioned it here, it's going to sound a, a little interesting. But you know, if if she was working 
at a, if she took a new job or if she was doing something new and they said, you know, hey, do you know how to do this? Her first answer was yes. Absolutely. Right. Yeah, I know how to do sure that. Mm -hmm. Now, she may have never done it before. <laughs> you should run home and learn it. But she right. would say yes. And, and, so, and then she would learn how to do it because she loved the field that she was working in. Mm -hmm. And she wanted to keep going and she wanted to learn as much as she could. And the, the best way that she could learn how was to, to take on some of those um, opportunities mm -hmm. and, and move forward with it, even though it creates a little bit of anxiety or discomfort mm -hmm. because, you know, if you're, if you're not really trained in right. how to do that stuff. So the, the, the idea of just, you know, reaching for it right. and, and, and pushing yourself beyond mm -hmm. those, those typical limits that you can see right. is very valuable. And in the next week to four weeks or mm -hmm. five weeks, tens of thousands of students are going to graduate from high school and college. Mm -hmm. And I would like for all the commencement speakers to encourage the audience, encourage these new graduates to aim higher than they can see. Right. You know, it's a perfect, perfect time of year to aim higher than you can see. No matter what you're doing, right. whether you're, you're going to, to the military, you're going to go to work, or you're going to mm -hmm. go to college, or you're going to go to a, a community college, it doesn't matter. Aim higher than you can see. Yeah. You know, take, Absolutely. D do more than you think you can. You know, we do deep breathing exercises mm -hmm. for relaxation. And one of the cardinal principles is when you take that deep breath, just as you think you can't take any more, right. then you take one more. Right. And, and that's the one that mm -hmm. really helps you. Absolutely. So aim higher than you can see. Definitely. Mm -hmm. So, good right. advice. Good advice from a guy who knows what he's talking Dr. about. Yeah, absolutely. Considered one of the most influential. Yeah. Psychologists of the twentieth century. We're in the twenty-first century, good. aren't we? We are. He's way behind. It happened fast. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. So you know, right. the last person born in the nineteenth century just died last week. That was a long time ago. You don't care, do you? That was a long time ago. She was old, so you don't care about her. No. You kind of age. You have a little ageism going. <laughs> okay, so. You're still not getting a Twitter. So, <laughs> all right. Until next. We're going to pick that topic up shortly. Until next time. Stay happy, stay healthy, and forget to be afraid.